So Google's latest mid-range phone, the Pixel 6a, sits as a successor to the Pixel 5a. It brings the design and a lot of the internal specs on the current flagship, the Pixel 6, to a more affordable price point. But is it the right phone for you? Now, whether you want a new Android device or you're considering getting on iOS, we've got you covered. So let's take a look at some of the best Pixel 6a alternatives. Now, I'm going to be going over the Galaxy A53 first, then the iPhone SE3, followed up by the iPhone 11. I'm also going to spend a couple of minutes showing you all each phone. And as you're watching this, you can learn more about each one of them, as well as get on our tech newsletter where we send out one email a week below in the description. Okay, so the Galaxy A53 is a beast of a phone, and you can get it at a great price. Now, it's got a 6.5-inch Super AMOLED display of 5,000 mAh battery, which gives it an amazing battery life. It's also got a 64-megapixel back camera, which is great for phone photography. It's also packed with the Xenos 1280 processor, which allows the phone to run high graphic games perfectly. Okay, next we have the iPhone SE3, which is the perfect budget if you want something from Apple. You get the benefit of it having the iPhone 13 processor inside it, and it also still reps the old school home button. Considering the fact that it's all glass and very pocket friendly, I'd highly recommend getting this one as well.
Okay, and the last best phone to get under $600 right now is the iPhone 11. Now, the 11 is a little bit more expensive than the SE3, but it's another great option for getting into the Apple universe. It's got a 6.1-inch LCD display, comes in six color options, and it's got a great price.